we want to feel better, then we're going to look at getting as healthy as we can. And if we're going to be healthy, then we're going to want to look at what we're eating. After all, the human body is an incredibly complicated piece of machinery. And like any piece of machinery, it will work best if it's given exactly the right kind of fuel. So what kind of fuel should, should we be putting in our bodies? Well, as a scientist, it makes sense to me, if we're looking for the ideal human diet, to look into our past. After all, we've been evolving for millions of years to eat a certain diet. And in the past 10,000 years or so, our bodies, the way they work, our physiology, has hardly changed at all because evolution is a very slow process. So to look at the ideal human diet, maybe we should be looking back to 10,000 or so years ago when we were existing largely as hunter-gatherers. What were we eating then? And if we look at that, what we would have been eating then would be a largely plant-based diet, um, fruit, vegetables, nuts, seeds, berries, roots, whatever we could find. We'd have been supplementing that when we could um, with animal protein, whenever we could catch something and kill it. Um, and basically that's it. Very little sugar and obviously no processed foods. And in terms of modern diet advice, that kind of diet would correspond very closely to the paleo, paleolithic or caveman diet. So if I was looking for the ideal human diet, I think the paleo diet is a really good place to start. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be um, talking a little bit about dairy. Should we go dairy free? Why on earth would we want to go dairy free? So I'll see you then.